Hi, you guys, and welcome to another deep conversation with your girl, Sha. I hope you're doing well on today. Happy Monday. We back at it again, y'all. Reality kicked in. I had to go back to work, but nevertheless, it's been a good day. And look, y'all, I'm back where it all started. Y'all know I got kicked out of my room when I first started doing YouTube, and I had to move and push on over to the office, but it feels good to be back in the original seat, okay, where it all started. So y'all already know what to do before we get too deep in our conversation go ahead and like comment and subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend but most importantly hit the like button hitting the like button put your girl up in the algorithm and we get us some new shun shines over here while well, i'm getting tongue-tied on my own name but okay and i got my ear pod in y'all so if my pr team get to talking to me and i make a pause they telling me something okay shout out to martel so let's go ahead and get into the mess so we know that martel did this whole big old Blake show last week where he put himself in his own hot seat. He came to agenda uh, for an agenda to make things better, but he ended up making everything worse. And in that interview, he called out Carson Blue and called her to be a opportunist. Well, Carson Blue decided to go live with her husband right beside her. And Carson Blue husband Jazz or Jizz, I think that's his name, said, keep my wife's name out your mouth and shout out to the husband for standing up and taking up for his wife and Carlos I mean Martel who are we talking to PR person who we need to okay Martel you need to now address this because you have no problem going after women but then when a man step to you now you want to play cool now it's a oh let's talk talk this out and work this out like um men but you won't do that same thing and have that type of respect when it comes to women. And you had no problem with calling him her out. But now her husband has now put you on notice and said, keep his wife's name out your mouth. And I think you should definitely do that. It looks like he don't play. They're from Detroit. You know, this little South little stuff ain't got nothing on them North people, you know. Just saying. Um, so I think you should heed to the warning and pay attention. But also in that interview, she said the only reason why she came out is because Martel spoke of her and she wanted to let it be known that she's not an opportunist. She has no reason to do this. She don't have to use anything for clout. And she got on this show without speaking anybody's name and she clearly only came on simply because she had an invite from miss letitia scott but he did say that he know what the real truth was and is he was there right when it all went down when miss carson was talking to miss area honey and he said he got the tea so if you want to play you come over there around young and talk to him you keep his wife's name out his mouth. Now, speaking of names and talking and doing this, then the third, Carlos, where you at? You have been very radio silent in this situation. And Queen Sheba asked the question, do Carlos King manage you? And Martel said no. And... I believe that to a certain extent, I don't believe that he managed him, but I do feel like my personal opinion that Carlos is in very close relations with him when it comes to business. I don't mean that in a, a relationship, sexual way. I only do mean by business only. I do feel like there is more than what meets the eye than what is just being, oh, he's just our executive producer. Oh, he called me like he called everybody else type situation. I do think it's a little bit more. However, Carlos King, you have been radio silent in this situation. And why haven't you came out to say anything? You haven't said, you want to drop tea about everybody else, gives exclusives. You want to, you know, tell people how they need to run their show, but you're not telling your own castmates publicly what they need to do. How is it that you're okay with outing other people, other castmates, and other networks, and you want to privately 
if that's what you're doing, do this to your own cast, or in particular, one cast mate, which is Martell Hope. And again, because you are close to the situation, because you work with them, at least at the very least, at the very least, you should do a statement that is from your company of the Raindrops or Kingdom Rain, whatever your production company is called, and say, on behalf of this, we do not blah, blah, blah. The same way Bravo did when it came down to Kenya and she had that Indian attire on for uh, Halloween. The same thing it came down to when Nene told that lady, I hope you get great by your Uber driver. Bravo had to come out and say things. Same thing when it came out to, was it Lisa Renner? I can't believe remember who it was who had the black face on. Bravo had to come out and make a explanation and say something. What are you waiting on? Now, I know Bravo is the network, so whatever, but because you are so close, even Andy had to say something, when are you going to stay, step up and say something on the behalf of OWN and on the behalf of Kingdom Rain Productions? When are you going to step up and say something, or are you okay with it? Now, word on the curb, according to... Miss Wanda and shout out to Chit Chat with QT for dropping this. Miss Wanda put it out there that Carlos King would now not allow any more uh, YouTube interviews to happen. But again, you want to cut out everything but don't want to fix nothing. That's crazy to me. You want to stop this. Let's just say allegedly this is true, whatever the case may be. You want to stop all of these things, but you don't want to fix anything. Only thing you're doing is putting a Band-Aid over a open wound. The Band-Aid not doing anything. And if you are allegedly, and I saw this as well on the um, Facebook group for Love and Marriage Huntsville that Carlos is about to make some changes. So I saw these in both places from uh, Chit Chat with QT and on the Facebook group. And it is saying that Carlos is ready and starting to make some changes with the cast and how they're going to do things going forward. But again, you went too far and you stayed too long. You literally are a day late and a dollar short. And why is it that it's coming to the point to where y'all are losing and have lost so much of your fan base simply because you didn't want to fix things on the front end or in the middle now that we're at the end of all the bull crap now you want to put in place of allegedly no more youtube interviews or allegedly we're feeling ready to make changes to the cast when well, you could have did this back in season three here we are season six going into season seven and now you want to make a change sir you should have did this way back in season three when season four started we should have seen a new cast then we should have seen people get demoted then or brought on then or fired then why are we waiting to season seven you mirror yourself after Bravo simply because you were there the longest. I understand. It. I get it. I'm sure you did help build what we see now, the formula over there. I won't take that away from Carlos. I'm pretty sure that that is that. But if you're going to go after it, you already know that Bravo don't mind cutting people. I ain't like you this one season. Good and goodbye. See you later. Hello to Toya. Toya had one season. What was that girl name that kept calling herself? She that B? When Eva and her supposedly had the same best friend, she did one season and was gone. Latoya did one season and was gone. Um, uh, what's the girl name from Potomac? It began with an A. Dang. She worked, she came in under Robin. A Skyla, whatever her name is, did one season and was gone. Baby, Bravo don't mind cutting the people. When you gonna start doing that? You wanna take every other formula for them, but that one thing. It's time for them to go. Martel needs to leave or be demoted. Hit him in his pocket so he can know that you ain't playing with him. The Scots 2.0 needs to go. And if the Scots 1.0 is going to stay, make them talk about the real, real. But that's all I got, you guys. Y'all drop down in the comments and let me know what y'all think. I'll see you guys, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.